We're beginning this half hour with some breaking news regarding Pfizer. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. The FDA just announced it has authorized emergency use for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use in 12 to 15 year olds. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenani, joins us again live to discuss the new age limit for the vaccine. So, Doc, what does this mean for the vaccination effort in the fight against COVID-19? Hey, it's huge, Alan. I think that, you know, the more people you get, you know, including included in these in this vaccination, uh, uh, you know, effort, I think the better off you are. But speaking as a parent, when you've got young kids now who can get vaccinated before summer camp, before the start of school, that's huge. I mean, beyond the, the fact that we can get herd immunity, here's the thing, right? Young, uh, young people, especially adolescents, have taken a huge toll. Why? Because many of them have not been able to get back to in-person uh, schooling and people have suffered academically and socially. So to me, it, it, this gives a huge boost of confidence in reopening schools, you know, for those, those, uh, those middle school ages, et cetera. I think it's going to be tremendous. And we, we talked about this before. The, the vaccine at, at this age group gave a very robust effort, meaning that the, the kids got great antibody reactions. So I'm not surprised that the FDA approved it. You know, yeah, Doc, you said it. This is fantastic news. So what do we know about the doses and how will they be administered? As far as we know, thus, thus far, the ruling just came out that it'll be just like the adults, right? It'll be two shots, and I think it'll be three weeks apart, just like with adults. And uh, this is not the final the final step. There's one other step on Wednesday, but I'm confident it's going to be the same. And, and, and the nice thing is that now that we're getting the approval this quickly, we can get the kids vaccinated way before before the school year begins. So this is this is tremendous news. We're talking the beginning of the hour, right, about how we're going to get people back to normalcy. This is a huge step in getting kids uh, in back in schools and, and, and teachers becoming more confident. So I love the fact that this came. Yeah, definitely another big step in for all of us here to finally and eventually reach herd immunity. Dr. Nandy, always great to see you. Thank you. My pleasure. Glenda. All right, Alan, thank you.